Hello! Welcome to my North Nick Corner podcast. My name is Anne and I come to you from the south of Norway. This is my little uh, knitting corner and uh, here I talk about knitting mostly and some life stuff. So welcome. I hope you want to spend some time with me. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as my North Knit Corner podcast. I'm also on Ravelry. Uh, I'm called Stricke Kroken Pod. But I also have a group called my North Knit Corner podcast. Yes. And uh, I hope you have something good to drink. Today I have some good coffee. And I hope you have uh, your knitting and that you want to spend a little time with me. That's very nice. I always love spending time with you guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so today I am wearing my December sweater. Uh, it's uh, designed by two Norwegian uh, designers called uh, Knitting by Emilia and Runa Strick. And I have, I have showed you this before, but um, I have been using it a lot lately and I'm very happy with uh, this sweater. I have knitted it in um, a yarn called Dale Kid Silk Erle. Uh, it's uh, the colorway 9043. Um, yeah. So I'm very, very happy with this. It's a uh, kid silk and I'm not, I like kid silk and I like my hair, but uh, it's very, I get very warm and yeah, it's a little bit uncomfortable to wear, but not this one because I um, knitted it on um, thick, thick needles. And so it's very airy and uh, doesn't get very warm. So. I've been using it a lot and very happy with it. <laughs> and it's red, so it's perfect for Christmas. Uh, yeah, I'm not finished with uh, so many things, only uh, two things, but it's the same pattern. <laughs> I, I have been so lucky that I got to test knit for uh, the beautiful Brie of the Doodlebug Yarn Co. Uh, and she has the podcast here on YouTube called Knit and Spin with Brie. Um, and she is uh, coming with her first pattern. And I was so lucky that I got to test knit. So thank you for that, Brie. Um, and it's the Alpaca My Knit Mitts. And here they are. Also red, it's the Christmas time. <laughs> and I have knitted this in uh, Sannes uh, Mini Alpaca in the colorway Hit 1015 and red 4219. And it's 100% alpaca yarn. Very soft and uh, mm. Really, really nice yarn to knit with. Uh, I had, uh, it was so much fun to knit this. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the only thing I had the trouble with was uh, getting gauge. Uh, Brie says she's a really tight knitter. And I am um, a very loose knitter. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I had real trouble getting engaged and I wouldn't, even though I I went down a couple of needle sizes, it didn't help anything, so. But I really wanted to knit them and so I just thought I just have to concentrate and really uh, knit tighter. So I did and I got gauge. Yeah, so happy with that. But I really had to concentrate in the beginning to get uh, 
to knit tightly but uh, after a while it got uh, into my hands and it was really easy to to knit and it's it's much nicer <laughs> than my uh, my loose knitting so I'm really happy I got to practice some tight knitting <laughs> and I'm so happy and pleased with with this uh, and it's such a beautiful design and it was so much fun to knit and this uh, cute alpacas here I, I will uh, put a picture in the end of my uh, podcast today so you can see them a little bit better uh, yeah but they are really good and warm perfect and I I am playing with the school band uh, and we are playing uh, we have a Christmas street here in uh, our little uh, town uh, and we are going to play there like four or five times uh, during duration of uh, nine ten days and uh, it's cold so these are perfect I can play and I can be warm so perfect really happy with this and um, my husband really liked them so he asked me if I could knit him a pair and of course I could because he is out uh, shoveling snow if it gets we don't have any snow yet and I, I hope we don't get any snow I like snow a little bit of snow on Christmas Eve perfect just a little bit when every everyone who is coming to us is has um, come here into the house and no one has to drive anywhere then it can come a little little bit of snow but uh, I don't need snow I don't I don't like snow because if I have to out, go out and drive and no but uh, I like snow on pictures <laughs> and in the Christmas movies <laughs> it's really nice but but he wanted some if he has to shovel snow and, and he didn't want to have them so uh, long so I just uh, shortened them a little bit he just wanted it straight over the or with the thumb uh, so he can uh, have the hands free and he was really happy with them so that's nice so I got two pairs of my alpaca not alpaca my knit mitts so that was a really fun knit so really really happy that I got to test knit and I really recommend uh, the pattern and I think it will come on a Ravelry in December so congrats on your first uh, design Brie it's great yeah so that's all I got on my needles no finished I mean <laughs> and I got several things on my needles but I am focusing on just a few things now because I want to finish some things uh, so it's only two things that I'm going to show you today and in my beautiful project bag that I got from a lovely lady called Sylvie um, I have my golden fern sweater by Jennifer Steingas who is a uh, knit love rule on Instagram and I talked to you about this last time because I was struggling with the, the pattern or not the pattern but the, um, the color work uh, because uh, the color or the threads uh, went through the sweater I, you could see the red through when it was supposed to be only green if that makes sense I'm missing some words I'm very sorry about that <laughs> I hope you understand anyways so when I was finished with my uh, test knit 
for Brie, I uh, went back to this. And I decided that um, I would just not uh, twin the threads behind uh, the sweater. I would just uh, have the long... Uh, let me just show you because I, I'm missing words. Just have the long threads and uh, not to twin because um, you could see it through and I didn't find a good way to do it. And it's uh, the color work is just down on the bottom of the sweater so I don't think I'm going to get hooked in the threads. <laughs> but the problem is when I had tried to knit very tightly on this I, my hands kind of kept doing that, <laughs> which is great because uh, it's so much nicer, I think. And I was so happy and pleased with the color work because it got so much nicer when I was a little bit uh, tighter in the knitting, but now it's so strange. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but up here it's very loose and then it goes in here because down here it's really tight <laughs> and I'm so pleased with the color work it's I I am so happy and uh, because I'm not uh, very good at color work it's I haven't done it so much either but uh, yeah I really want to learn how to do it <laughs> nice and I was so pleased with this but when I took it on, when the body was done, it's so, it's just like boom. Oh, I don't know what to do. So my hope is that if I wash it and block it really hard down here, that it can just loosen a bit. And, and now it's so, it's so uh, short the ribbing as well down here, so it's just uh, curling up. So I'm hoping that it will resolve with a wash and block, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just hoping for a miracle here, <laughs> because I really don't want to take it all back or rip it all back and then do the color work again, since it's so nice. I'm so happy. Well, I don't know. So I don't know. So I'm praying for a miracle here that the wash and block will do the job. Uh, so I started one arm. Yeah, and it's also color work at the end of the arms. So I just have to be mindful of not doing it too tightly. And if I have to, after wash and block, if I have to take it up, I have to, or rip back, I have to do that. So we'll see. But I really hope I don't have to, because I really want this to be finished before next weekend, because I'm going out on afternoon tea with some friends. So it would be really nice to wear this because this is a clearly a Christmas sweater. It's not a sweater I'm going to use any other times of the year. So I really want it to be done. The yarn, I haven't told you. <laughs> the yarn I've knitted it in is from Spötegarn, which is a um, Norwegian dyer. Uh, and the uh, green is uh, merino glitter it's 75% uh, merino 20% nylon and 5% stellina so it's a uh, glittery I think it's really nice and they only had two uh, skeins left of the dark because I wanted I wanted it all to be the dark uh, but then since they only had two skeins left I got the uh, lighter green but I and I have just faded it together, but I think it's really nice. I like it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I really like how it turned out. So. And the red is also spetagon. The red color. Yes. So we'll see. 
if I have to do it again or <sighs> yeah we'll see but that's the one thing that I'm focusing on right now mostly all the time because I really want it done but we'll see if I have to rip back then it won't be done for quite a while that would be so sad <laughs> well well and then I have uh, one more thing on the needles or I have more on the needles but one more thing I really want to uh, finish and I don't think I had cast on this the last time we spoke probably not maybe I showed you the yarn but I'm knitting on a Musselberg hat uh, and of course I've uh, forgot who it's by uh, yeah I will write it on the screen <laughs> but I guess many of you already know who is who it is because um, Musselberg hat has been uh, quite popu popular to knit so I'm sure many of you already know but uh, I am uh, knitting a Musselberg hat for my son who is six years old in this fantastic yarn the rainbow colored yarn which is called Kid Dies by Nils he is the son of a uh, no, uh, I don't I'm not sure if she's Norwegian but but at least she lives in Norway uh, and she has uh, the, um, enchanted forest fibers I think her yarn is called and this is her son Kid Dice by Nils and it's so sweet and it's on her uh, starry sock base and the colorway is rain rainbow rifey I'm not sure what that is but rainbow rifey and it's 75% uh, merino 20% nylon 5% stellina so it's uh, a little bit glitter I'm not sure if you can catch it on the screen but here is the beginning of the hat and uh, now it's just uh, stuck in it for a while so that's perfect no mindless knitting for when I watch some Christmas movies perfect yeah and I have some nice uh, Christmassy stitch markers on gingerbread man snowman and candy cane yeah <laughs> so I'm looking forward to uh, finish this and I will gift it for my son for Christmas and maybe I will put a pompon on top we'll see we'll see so not much more to say about that um, other than I watched summer at summer knits another great uh, podcaster here on YouTube really recommend uh, checking her out if you haven't done already and she was knitting this hat and she said that she questioned the size when she, she was finished with the increases and was going just for the stockinette uh, and uh, she uh, she was questioning questioning the, the size of the hat and I did exactly the same because I thought this is too small how can this fit uh, my son said <laughs> And I was like, mm, should I do a bigger size or, but then I, uh, I saw Summer said, say, say that she should have trusted the pattern. And I decided, yes, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I see it's going to fit him uh, perfectly. It might even be a little bit too big. So that won't be a problem so I'm very glad that I I didn't uh, choose a bigger size because then it would be too big for him so thank you Summer for helping me out there <laughs> so that's the second thing and that I am currently knitting on 
Maybe the other stuff is going to wait. Maybe till after Christmas. We'll see. Because I have a few things I want to knit. I want to knit a plant a hat for myself. For when I'm going out to to play with the school band. Uh, and some uh, Christmas decorations. I am going to knit that. And I'm going to join a mystery knit along. It's a Norwegian podcast called Baren Masketil. Only one more stitch. And there's a lady there. There, there are three ladies having this podcast. But one of the ladies, she's also a, a designer. So she has designed a shawl. Uh, and it's a mystery shawl. So we're going to get clues every few days during the Advent time. And I'm going to do that this year. So I've chosen some colors. It's five colors. Um, and I have, so this is also acquisi acquisitions. And uh, my only acquisitions this time. <laughs> and so I have chosen these colors together. Ooh. Okay, something's happening on my screen here, so I just have to fix that. Sorry. So these are my colors together with th this one. So this is going to be my Advent Mystery Shawl. So I'm not sure what... I <laughs> not sure what... Um, uh, oh, I'm looking forward now. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, well, which color I'm going to start with and so on. Uh, yeah. So this uh, is a uh, uh, sock yarn from a uh, Norwegian dyer called Lykkegan. Uh, I really like these colors. And so I also got uh, this from, oh, and this is Sunnes Sunday, the three of, of these colors. And this is the colorway 2543, 3554, and uh, 8521. And I bought these three first, and then I found this in my stash. And I thought they went good together. But then I needed one more color, and there was a lady who said, why don't you... Uh, find something like this purple in this yarn and I thought that was a very good idea so yesterday I got this uh, and this is Sanes Tin Merino Wool Tin Merino Wool and the colorway 4622 so this is going to be a shawl I don't know how it's going to look so that's scary and exciting We'll see, but I think it will be a fun knit for the advent, advent time. But that's my only plan. Not too many plans. My only plan is to enjoy myself uh, during the advent time and just knit on what I want. I am going to knit some mittens for my husband, I think, but I'm not going to put any pressure on me to finish them for Christmas. I think. <laughs> because I'm done with the Christmas knitting, except for my son's hat. Uh, and so if I finish the mittens, he'll get them for Christmas, and if not, he will get them. He will get them when he gets them. <laughs> yeah. So that was my goal, not to stress about Christmas presents uh, in December, just enjoying myself. And 
I think I am going to succeed this year. So really happy about that. Yes, that's all. All the knitting. I think. Yeah, in uh, life, the first Sunday of Advent today, and my plan is to do uh, a little episode every Sunday in Advent. So they probably will be short, sweet and short. <laughs> but I hope you will join me for some cozy knitting time on uh, in Advent. Uh, admire all all those who is going to do vlogmas and I am really looking forward to watching vlogmas uh, but um, I think one episode a week is enough for me anyway and uh, yeah but it's nice to to chat a little bit with you during the Christmas season my favorite season by the way <laughs> Uh, this week I have been uh, to a knitting cafe that was really nice just out and knitting and chatting and uh, drinking good coffee yeah that was really nice I've been to two Christmas tree lightings uh, so that's fun uh, one at my youngest uh, school and in the uh, center of uh, the town we also have a Christmas tree lighting so that's nice so I have started to decorate just a little bit not too much but next weekend I probably have uh, decorated the whole ho whole house but I put up some Christmas light outside and I put up a star in the window yeah I think that's nice it's nice to put up some lights it's so dark outside and uh, the sun is uh, just up for a few hours so it's really nice to see all the Christmas lights uh, outside when it's so dark yeah so I think that's it from me today I hope you had uh, a nice time together with me thank you so much for being here and for all the comments and uh, the likes and I really appreciate it and uh, yeah I hope you all have a good first week week of advent and uh, drink a lot of hot beverages knit light the fire <laughs> maybe not if it's summer where you, or a spring where you are but uh, yeah in any way, anywhere you are, enjoy yourself and have a really good week and uh, see you soon. Bye!